Well, 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 what is this? It appears your boy got a package in the mail. I wonder what it could be. YouTube, don't get mad at me. It's for opening a box. The mystery awaits of what could possibly be in my box. Well, would you look at that? Just so happens to be a nice new shiny skateboard. Got grip tape right there. That's going to be important later. Okay. Got a revive sticker. Some of you out there may or may not be familiar with that logo. First one I've ever ridden, actually, so I'm excited to see how this goes. packing slip which is cool they give you like a, a little personalized like thank you in the packing slip that's I appreciate that that's good customer service and the thy unveiling oh oh it's so good I know y'all remember Super Mario N64 where you could like squish his face. Alright, that's what's up. I'm pretty happy with that. Hell yeah. Super Revive in the background. Super Revive 64 in the background. Dang, that's what's up. Okay. Okay. Feels good on the feet. I know, y'all just got a feet clip for free. Hell yeah. Well, let's set this bad boy up. Hi, everybody. Got my skateboard here. Again, uh, it's a Revive, I believe it's called Super Ames Brothers. It's a Mario ripoff from Revive Skateboards, and I like it because I'm a nerd. And uh, we're going to do a little skateboard setup for you guys today. I spared you the pain of watching me take my trucks off from the other skateboard because... All that is is twist and bolts. I'm sure you guys can probably figure that out. But now we're gonna do arguably the most important step. Um, definitely the one that requires the most focused. And I'm realizing right now that as I am a very professional YouTuber, I need one more thing. That'll work. Okay, so I also sprung for some AM grip. Um, it's kind of revives proprietary grip tape, I guess. That's For skateboarders out there, you'll understand. It's kind of like Baker and Shake Junt. They're not the same company, but let's be honest, uh, they kind of are. <laughs> um, so yeah, step one, 
get your skateboard Woo. don't drop it on your toes open it have it enjoy it smell it I wouldn't recommend tasting it but you know I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life and then what you're gonna want to do so the skateboard goes this way obviously right so when I'm riding it this will be in the front I guess it doesn't really matter it kind of depends on how much you care but if you do have grip tape with a logo on it I would recommend so I ride standing this way with my left foot forward and so obviously when I put the grip tape on I want to be able to look down and have it go the right way and again I mean I if you don't care about that kind of thing then I guess it is what it is but my skateboarder OCD I suppose wants me to have my grip tape going the right way um, and they do a lot of times roll it up when they send it to you so it will be a little bent you can kind of you know work it back into shape if you want or you don't have to um, generally once you stick it generally once you stick it it kind of goes back into shape on its own so I'm gonna do the blue collar thing and roll up my sleeves right now also maybe don't do this in a super oversized jersey but here we are uh, most important have your coffee so what you're gonna do here is take your grip tape um, and it's essentially a giant sticker just gonna find a corner just go ahead peel that off once again I'm gonna make sure that it's facing the right way and there's a few ways to do this some people will kind of stick the middle first and go out I find it works better for me to do the opposite and actually here let me just so you guys can get a good shot of this there we go so I kind of take my two ends and I'll use my fingers to kind of make sure it's even try to make sure it's as centered as possible over the board and then I literally just pat it on there try to make sure there's no air bubbles um, no creases anything like that it's it's not the worst thing in the world if there is but it's also annoying for a lot of skateboarders um, so there you go that's how I generally applied grip tape um, and you can also they make tools for this but I'm doing this the skateboarder way and using what I got you can kind of take your wheel and just sort of roll it it'll kind of make sure that you don't have any air bubbles or any kind of weirdness in there um, and again if you do it's not the end of the world it's just I don't know it annoys me I have skateboarder OCD but yeah, just kind of roll it on there. Make sure everything's stuck down nice and nice and wonderful and smooth and awesome. Now comes the part uh, that's going to be loud. I'm sorry. It just is what it is. But you're going to want to take your screwdriver or you can use a file. You can even use your truck if you wanted to um, but take something 
And what you're going to do start scraping the edge a little bit. I'm stuck on myself. And now you can see that's going to kind of give you an outline. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when I've done the whole thing, but essentially what it does is it gives you the outline that you're going to cut away the excess. <clears throat> and it also kind of it's kind of like when you fold the paper so you can tear it easier. It kind of makes it a little bit weaker so that you can cut it easier. Um, so this is going to be loud for a second. Sorry headphone users. Turn it down if you need to. I don't know. now you can see there's kind of a a silver outline um, of where your skateboard actually is and all that's really gonna do is make the process of cutting away the excess a little bit easier um, it's kind of like when you were in grade school and you traced the shape and then you cut it basically the same kind of uh, idea. Get that part a little bit more. Alright. Step three. Take your good old-fashioned razor blade here. Um, obviously be safe. It does tend to work better with a new blade that's sharper, clearly, you're cutting something. But I mean, you can use whatever you have and you can use whatever you're comfortable with. I know some people use like an X-Acto knife. I've seen people do this with kitchen knives. Like you can, you can make it work. But what I normally do is I'll take it I'm going to do it from this side actually. So I just go ahead and wherever I'm going to start, I just kind of poke the blade through. So you can see kind of the tip of my razor blade is poked through. I know the old saying, never cut towards yourself. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's a lot easier to go ahead and pull it instead of push it. I feel it gives me a little bit more control um, and it's just a little bit easier for me. And you can kind of, you know, if you start to go off the line, you can kind of go back and oh boy, I am screwing that part up but you can kind of go back and make sure you're going the right way move it around as you need to whatever's going to make it easier for you and then we just come through there are some people who can do this in like four seconds and if you are one of those people, congratulations. Um, I'm not one of those dudes. This always has been a bit of a process for me. But again, you're just following that outline. And you're just 
letting the razor blade do the work. And again, your nose and tail are going to be kind of the hardest parts because you do have to go around that corner and it can be a little a little tricky um, and also you're gonna notice I'm doing this in one one swoop all the way around you can do chunks if you're more comfortable with that I'm just honestly it's kind of a skateboarder thing it's kind of like satisfying to get the whole thing in one chunk but again however it works for you is how you should do it and we're there okay boom one chunk haha -ha, I win and then if you want to, you can take this part and like stick it somewhere. Kind of looks cool, like the outline of a skateboard or whatever. Um, so yeah, there's that. And I'm actually going to set this aside. And I'll show you why in just a minute. But there is, you can kind of see like... Right here, there's kind of a chunk that was left over. Um... Got another little bit right here. And again, some people don't care about that. It's not a huge deal, but I'm just gonna go ahead. Get my razor blade in there. Peel it up a little bit. Just kinda kind of clean it up make it a little bit nicer and again that's just personal preference this is not gonna make or break how your board skates it's just I'm OCD and then you can take this free sandpaper you got here and you can kind of just clean it up a little bit Again, just make it a little bit nicer. And now what I'm gonna do, so my the front of my board is where the A is, right? So when I'm doing tricks, my foot's gonna be sliding right here. Fresh grip tape is very coarse, very, very grippy. Um, I will say though, shout out to Am Grip. This isn't like the coarsest grip tape I've ever felt. And honestly, I like that. I don't like when I get a new board and it feels like I can't move my feet. This seems like it's gonna lend itself to allow me to slide my feet on the board a little bit better. But I'm still just gonna take a little bit of grip tape and just kinda, right where I would do kick flips and stuff, just kinda, Give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a wear right there. Again, you don't want to like, you don't want to make it so there's no grip. But also sometimes I find that brand new grip tape grips a little bit too hard. So I just kind of make things easier on myself. Now, for the next step, obviously, we got to put our trucks and wheels on. But see, fouls, how do you know where the bolts go? There's no holes in the top of your grip tape. Well, that's why I grabbed me a little screwdriver. And you can do this with just your bolts. Um, I'll go ahead and show you both ways. So you take it, you kind of put your fingers on about where the hole is from the underside obviously you can see where the bolt holes go 
Um, so you're just gonna poke it in there. You'll see it start to come through. You guys probably can't see that very well, but you'll feel it start to come through and you just kinda poke it. And now you have a hole there. Or, if you don't have a baby screwdriver available, you can also just take one of your bolts. Exact same concept, but it is going to be a little harder to poke it through. Just kind of push it until it starts coming up. Use your fingers to hold the grip tape down. Just pop it right in. And then this happens. That's why I would prefer to use something else because your bolts will get kind of stuck in there. But if you have this little pre-poked hole like I did on the other one, you can do the same thing. Make your hole as wide as you need to. And then boom. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. should go. So now one thing that I will say I guess depending on your skill level depends on how much this matters but you'll notice that your trucks are gonna kinda wear differently just because of weight differentials so I put the truck I want in the front right here front front back back simple so you flip her over and now this is where some people can get confused so you see how that looks right one side there's just I mean there's the hanger right here but there's kind of nothing other side you have your kingpin and your bushings and all your truck mechanisms you want this side pointed toward the middle of your skateboard so when it's on there it's gonna look like that so there's multiple ways you can do this. You can put all your bolts in first and then you can hang your truck on them. I, for whatever reason, have always just kind of put it on there. Use my finger to hold it from the bottom. And then just go ahead start the nut a little bit so it's just kind of hanging out right there same thing you just kind of find your holes Sometimes you drop them and it's annoying if you have big fingers. And again, um, this part's kind of personal preference. You can set both of them. You can do one at a time. There's no right or wrong way 
to do this really um, but then I got me a wrench right here um, most skate tools have a a truck nut wrench at the bottom but I don't have a skate tool right now so I have a 3 8 inch little socket little thingy and then it's just a matter of I usually hold it between my legs like this just makes it easier for me and then it's just a matter of tightening these things down tightening this is super exciting watching me tighten down bolts all right guys last one And again, they don't have to be like super cranked down as hard as you can possibly go. But you do want them tight. Um, they do tend to loosen up over time. So the tighter you go on the first run, kind of the better. Haha! -ha! Skateboard! Alright! So that. Oh, here we are! The home park! And yes, I know what you're gonna say. See, Vals, didn't your stomach just almost explode out of your body? Yes, but I promise you, I'm being careful and I can't stop, man. Okay. As I said back at the house, the most important part of getting a new skateboard is the kickflip test. You set up your new board before you do anything else. You do a kickflip and you have a good time. This is gonna be pretty mellow. Um, I'm getting back into it. Gotta get my legs back. 
don't want to hurt my stomach, but uh, we're going to have some fun on this little parking block. guys well I'm sure this video by the time even I edit it down it's gonna be kind of on the longer side so I appreciate y'all for watching um, stay tuned for more skate content this was more just me playing around after I set up a board but uh, I'm gonna get back into it a lot harder and thanks for watching Appreciate all you guys. Much love, everybody.